Now standing on the footbridge that crossed the river, there in the distance across two fields was the eerie outline of the derelict manor house. Their mission tonight was to find out why everybody was so scared of the place. Were the stories true about ghosts, or was it just an empty building which every child knows is creepy? Although the riverbank had houses on it overlooking the fields, Grima knew it would be safe to turn on their torches, as the householders were used to fishermen by the river night fishing. The gang left the safety of the footbridge and moved out slowly in single file across the field. Suddenly they heard a noise coming from the bushes. It made them jump. BB swung his torch round. There, in his light beam, were a pair of menacing eyes. BB stood his ground and didn't seem phased. He had already figured out what the mysterious creature was. Don't worry, lads, it's one of the gypsy's horses. The boys had forgotten that the fields had the horses grazing in them. They had covered a lot of ground in a short time <clears throat> and were now on the limits of the manor house grounds. Now overgrown and surrounded by clumps, clumps of thorn bushes and brambles everywhere, they found it made progress towards the manor house very slow and somewhat painful at times. This was taking longer than the walk across the two fields. Finally, the gang defeated the evil bushes that were keeping them from their goal. Dreamer and Bibi were first through. They dashed and hid in a ditch while the others made their breakthrough into the open. The ditch filled up quickly with the gang members. The boys sat and stared at the eerie building not 50 feet away from them. It was deadly silent and pitch black. The building was three stories high. Most of the roof had gone, exposing the attic rooms with its broken windows. On the second floor, parts of the back wall had broken away and now lay on the ground and it seemed to the boys that not one single window had any glass left in it. Their eyes were drawn to the ground floor. The back door was smashed in. The French windows were all gone now and a small lean-to had fallen into the walls of the main house, sending its tiles scattering across the ground. Right, we want to avoid the area where the tiles are. I think we should go in one of the old French windows, said Dreamer. The others looked at him and nodded in agreement. Cautiously, the gang left the ditch and slowly inched their way to the entrance point they had agreed on. Now leaning in through the doorway, Dreamer signalled for the others to wait. He crept to the next doorway to make sure it was safe. He scuttled out of the door into a corridor. The others waited anxiously for further instructions. The house was so quiet. Too quiet. Nothing could be heard, not even Dreamer's footsteps. Nipper whispered to the others, Do you think Dreamer is alright? He has been gone a long time.